from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here. Tommy Max, of course, at my bar where everyone is welcome to have a seat and uh, grab a drink and tell their story. Brought to our good friends at Dasher and the law offices of Terrell Hogan. It's Campos Corner. Coach Campos here. You know what? He, uh, he loves football. He doesn't drink, but he loves desserts. And our guest today is Juanita Jones from Edible Blessings Desserts. So let's welcome hey. them both in. Hi, Hi. Welcome to the Thank show, you for Coach. Me. Hey, Tom. I got that right, didn't I? Well, you're I? right. In fact, like, I love desserts way, way too much. That's right. Don't we all? Don't we all? Welcome to the show, Thank Juanita. Thank you for having me so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell us about your bakery and your vending business yes. and everything that's going well, on with Edible Blessings. I've been at this for quite some time, uh, about yep. 24 years. This year, Edible Blessings is a mobile dessert bakery and also a vending uh, bakery business. So cool. uh, I serve Jacksonville and surrounding counties. Okay. I do a lot of traveling now. I do a lot of events. I've done some huge events here in the city. Okay. And then also now, gratefully, I'm being um, asked to come outside of the city to provide some delicious sweets and treats. Ooh. Nice. Like, nice. who doesn't like that? How long have you been a baker? <laughs> Were you baker? Like, did you like baking? I've been as a baking kid? for like, well, I've been baking did? for 24 years since okay. my oldest son was about two or three years old. Okay, and yep. that was because nobody at the time could do exactly what I was looking for them to do. Right. So I decided right. to take the bull by the horns, and I did it myself. Nice. And it's been going ever since then. And then yep. I've left corporate America in 2016 to pursue it full time. Good for that, you. That's fantastic. You know, coach, you, you love entrepreneurs. I do. I love entrepreneurs. A lot of people will say when you play in the NFL and coaching in the NFL. You're an entrepreneur. Sometimes you got to take a risk on yourself in order to, you know, make it uh, bigger. Absolutely. And I, and I think, you know, number one, you have to be willing to, to take some chances. But yeah. I was more of a security person. I have a great deal of respect, as we were talking earlier, that yeah. of an entrepreneur. Because in, in reality, you're really stepping out there. And a lot of people go from making a lot of money to making a little money that to grow the business right. into what it is. And I'm sure that that was probably yes. the case with you. It's uh, far, yeah, it's far from easy. Yeah. yeah. So when did you decide on the, the mobile side of it? Just because the, it's, is it um, lower overhead costs or do you want to be unique? A little bit of combination of both? What? How'd you get the mobile aspect? The mobile to it? aspect came because brick and mortars definitely are way more expensive as a startup. Okay. And then also, uh, I initially started off just as a custom baker, doing like your traditional birthday cakes, the wedding cakes, and even the crazy three dimensional things that people probably have seen like on Food oh, Network. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. But then when COVID hit, the dynamics of everybody's business pretty much changed. Yeah. Uh, and everybody yeah. was going into more of a contactless type of business transaction. Yep. Thus, the mobile concept and the vending portion of the business, that's when those were actually birthed. Uh, so well. that part of the business is only maybe three and a half, almost four years old. Okay. Um, because COVID required for the flexibility, you had to be flexible and pliable. Mm -hmm. So that required me to make a change into another direction to be able to still service my, uh, my customers. See, that to me is yeah. exciting from the standpoint that I think in order to do what you're doing, you have to have a little bit of foresight into yeah. what what I have to do to change. And, and really, in all honesty, the same thing in coaching. You have to right. have a foresight to say, okay, I'm going to treat, you have to know every player differently. Mm -hmm. That's right. Every player is different. Yeah. You can handle, I could yell at you, but not right. at somebody else. Right. You know, right. just right. how you handle right. things. So, right. and, well, that's how you guys scale, right? By yeah. moving up the up yeah. the ladder. How about with the, the recipes? Like, are you the only chef or do you have other chefs? And if you don't have I, other, <laughs> to scale it, you're going to have to eventually trust someone to oh, make sure they you make the recipe, really right? The you know what I mean? Like, with me because yeah. I am a stickler yeah. when it comes to the quality mm -hmm. because the quality goes along with my brand. That's my name. Absolutely. And Absolutely. if the quality diminishes, it takes away from what I'm currently known for, okay. which is excellence. That's so right. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be spanked a little bit for that one because I've had a hard time letting her go because, and I call it a her because your business becomes your baby. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's and, unbelievable. And totally. nobody is going to take care of your baby like you do. Yep. So it takes a lot. You really have to find somebody that's just as dedicated and care about your baby Absolutely. as you do. And right. unfortunately, I've not gotten to that place where I found somebody to be yep. able to do that. So my hands is in everything. Uh, Everybody's successful in that industry, the restaurant, whatever, it's all management. Like they have the best managers all, yes. and it trickles down. I'll tell you what, we have so much in common because you know the, the name you wore in the back of your jersey. Yeah. You're representing that. You know, right. you know that, how you approach yourself, things, yeah. not only on the field, but, but off, off the field. Yeah. You're, you're representing your mother and father. You're representing you're your right family, you, yep. uh, whoever it is, that, that position, the, the, the team you're with, whatever. It's very yeah. similar situation. All right, let's wrap up with this. What's your favorite dessert? You have to pick one. I, I, my <laughs> wife makes a strawberry cake. Ooh. A oh. strawberry on the top and some white, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, you're the baker. Angels I have no candy. idea what it is. Yeah, it's Just light, light, right? light, yeah, okay. very light. Nice. That's my favorite. That but listen, uh, <laughs> just put something in front of me. I'm on a seafood diet when it comes to, I'm, if I yeah, see it, I'm going to eat it when yeah, it comes to dessert. It. Yeah, I'm pretty easy to, yeah. <laughs> How about you, Anita? What's your favorite to consume, not make? Oh, and that's so hard. But uh, I am pretty much a chocoholic. Uh, oh, yeah. I love same. anything strawberry, but when it comes to chocolate, if I see strawberry and chocolate, I'm always going to go uh, for yeah. that chocolate, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. It could be chocolate cake, a chocolate cheesecake, whatever it is, chocolate, I'm going for it. I agree go. with that. I would just add my favorite is just chocolate fudge icing over yellow cake. And that is Ooh. one of my That's number one need. sellers. Oh, is Look it really? That. Yes, Ooh, it is, because it's hard to find. I'm gonna have to bring you it. Your <laughs> here. You, you better leave your card here. You better leave your card here for real <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Yep. Appreciate thank it. You. All the best, yeah, all right? Thank you yeah. so much all right. for having me. Hey, make sure you check out Juanita's and Coach Campos' profile. This conversation and many, many others, just go to the Daily News Network dot com website. Till next time, stay safe, be cool, and eat your dessert. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. <laughs> Cheers. 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 The coach should be going to bed at night thinking about the athlete and how they're going to help that athlete improve. They shouldn't be worrying about how am I going to quantify their improvement or Am I going to have to keep up with all this information? Those things that are kind of background to the coach focusing there on the athlete. And so what Dasher does is it takes all those side things away, allowing the coach to focus then on the athlete.